In a single month, 1.5 million Canadians relied on a food bank. That's just one of the grim findings in the latest hunger report as food insecurity across the country hits an all-time high. These shocking numbers, there's people behind every single one of them. These are people we know. They're our neighbors. They're our friends. It's being called the perfect storm. High inflation, low incomes, and outdated government policies. According to the report by Food Banks Canada, one in four food banks is now seeing a 50% increase in demand. And around 500,000 clients, about a third are children. These are kids who are not you know, able to concentrate at school and learn. And who's going to be our future artists and scientists and economists that figure our way forward into the future? Kirsten Beardsley, the CEO of Food Banks Canada, calls the numbers devastating, saying this is the toughest time in our history as the demographics of people struggling to put food on the table are also shifting. We're seeing concerning increases among seniors, so people we certainly don't want to see having to use a food bank and workers. So people who are um, making low income wages but are in the workforce. It's a job doesn't seem to be enough right now. She says inflation is exposing cracks in our social safety net and part of the solution involves changes to archaic government policies. Our EI system was built in the 90s for a completely different workforce, not the gig economy, not the work that we see of today. Not a single province even with federal supports, provide people with disabilities with an adequate income. How is that the Canada we want? Now, Food Banks Canada also says that food insecurity is especially dire in northern Canada, and they're calling for the development of community-based approaches to address the issue. Shauna Hunt, City News.